two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. There's a certain kind of comfort that can only be found at home. When I think of home, I think of my childhood and the grounded feeling I get from returning to my past, my home. I sometimes find myself driving past my childhood home, even though it's been someone else's home for a very long time. At least one of them is. You see, I have two homes, two hometowns. nine years old, my parents, who were still together at the time, moved us from the little beach town where I lived to the nearby mountains. Today, I'm going home. But not just my childhood home. There's yet another home that I have in the mountains. My first home away from my parents. My very first home as a young adult. And today, I'm gonna take a very special visit there because there's something that I need to know. I consider myself fortunate because I don't have to just drive past this childhood home to feel that sense of comfort in my past. My mom still lives there, and today is a nice day for a visit. This was my backyard growing up, and being able to come here is a gift, a tether to my past that remains while so many other things from my younger life have faded into history. The elementary school field where I used to play with my friends is gone. The courts where dodgeball once ruled the day is now a parking lot for city vehicles. But the forest remains. Nature's doors will not be closed. This is another home that I can always come back to. This is a place where I can always find myself again. So this is my old stomping ground. It was the very first place I moved out on my own, had my own little bachelor pad, which we're gonna go actually visit right now because when I moved out, I left something there. It was actually a toy chest that I had when I was a little kid, and I believe it's in the buildup underneath the house. It's bugged me ever since I moved out, and today's the day I'm just going to go there and make a very weird request of them and see if we can look under the house uh, and, and see if it's there. Hi. How you doing? Good, good. How are you? Good. Hey, I'm really sorry to bug you. I used to live here. Mm -hmm. It was my first place I moved out like a bazillion years ago. It may not even be here, but I think I might have left something in the buildup. It was a toy trunk from when I was a little kid and it was oh, like, no, is it open? Yeah, are you sure? I mean, I'm sorry to bug you. I know this is really weird, but it's bothered me for years and at least I'll know one way or the other. Oh my gosh. Okay. If I had, it would have been in the way, way back. That was it for a 
a second there, but not it. Okay. Well, damn it. It wasn't there. I had a little bit of hope for a second there when I saw that chest. Same size, same configuration, everything. Wasn't what I expected. Uh, I should have probably come back years ago, but at least I know. It's, it's the not knowing that it's probably the worst. So I'm kind of happy, actually. Chapter closed. Now let's get out of here.